but Dr. Orton, let's go through our beautiful wall over there of cold versus flu, because I think it's really important for people to understand which is which. Mm -hmm. So the cold, sore throat, often the first symptom. And how many of us have woken up in the morning and you just feel that little bit of a scratch and you're like, mm -hmm. oh man, yeah. here, it, here comes. it comes. So what happens? Over the next day or two, you might start to develop a stuffy nose, runny nose, sneezing. What that is, it's your body trying to rid itself of the cold virus. So sneezing can become very predominant. That's how it spreads itself to other people <laughs> yeah. as well. And then in addition to sneezing, you'll cough. And so a cold, you know, it can last a week or so, and it does make you feel bad, but the flu is much more dangerous. What's the number one dist distinguishing factor? You really shouldn't get a high fever with a cold, but with a flu, you likely will have high fever. Cold, symptoms tend to be neck up. With the flu, you get aches and pains throughout your body, what's something we call myalgias. So that's muscle aches and pains. A flu virus becomes or causes more of a systemic reaction. That's why also extreme exhaustion, because you feel like you just got hit yeah. by a Mack truck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the difference between the flu cough and the cold cough is a dr it's a dry cough with the flu. It tends to be more of a dry cough associated with the fevers, the body aches, headache. You feel miserable.